what's going on. Ah, he's finally come to. And he can speak human, turns out. Started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way. Except maybe with me reflection in the piss bucket. Where... Where am I? On the Albatross. Or the Fuck Bath Oil. It's no strange tongue, is it? En route to a fear. Don't remember signing on as a sailor. <laughs> oh, you didn't, mate. They dragged you aboard. Seems you killed that prince. Okay, um... Right. Don't remember a thing. Shit, it means I'm in trouble. Yeah, not kidding. Oh, toad in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. I happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince, lift his curse. Wagered their honor, and that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So, must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. And who might you be? Felipe Caligram, at your service. Petty thing, professional fence. And your guide about Oxenford. One of a bit of time. Mm -hmm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut open. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwent. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than me own breeches. We been at sea long? Uh, dunno, Riley. Not that long. Though, on the other hand... But what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? Hey, I'm glad to be silent to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White, with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not. Black horses with white stripes? Hey, black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwebar. That I'm sure of. Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. Tried to break out yet? Uh, used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be my Ophiris, Rusty. My Ophiris non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. I'll teach you some of that time. Elkal! Orial! What's that mean? I told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to your captain? Alakal Sorkan! Galavat Kar U Albata again! Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. You'd be dead already. Vengeance is not ours to reap, Anna. We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. What? Elkal! Okay. Hey, uh, Ul, Ul. Vyoth. What just happened? What did he say? Said to sit quiet. And that you'll hang in two weeks. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get's angry gurgles. And they puff up, you notice? Like them fish. Is it they're called? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, there's this mercenary with him. Looks Adernian to me. He's the one who recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage, what leads them, knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. Catch some shut eye. Not go on flapping your tongue. Got a long voyage ahead. 
Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? Hmm. I remember you. I remember. We met in White Orchard. Your Gaunter Odin, known also as Master Mirror. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. How'd you get in here? Long story, it'd bore you. I'd prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you? Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you'll return the favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all's said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, meet the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Who are you gabbing with? With... no one. Oh, never like Monk. Not one bit. I heave like devils. Make me stomp churn. Oh, it'd be prime to sleep through the whole thing. Didn't bargain for no storm, but fear that means a tidy jump in my fee. To a fear, get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king, we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we're doing with the other? The other drowned. We could do nothing. We deliver nine, this one. Apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see him. What kind of hell? Firing, flaying, and watering. This is the punishment for regicide and pains. Oh, he's not happy. Got the Ophiri and their mage. Okay, okay, that's the mage. Shut up, Oh. Okay, just killed his own man. Works for me. Ah, uh, this works. There we go, that's the mage over there. Keep away from whatever magic that this mage is casting at me. Great. It's just me and him. I'm not supposed to get to this guy. Pushed me right away, didn't they? Christ.
doing all right damage to him there, but... Now that is cool. Even if I'm fighting it, that is cool. Our friend's dead though, which is a shame. There was a prisoner on the boat. It's a quick bastard. Ow. Come on, come on, what are you gonna do? That's Novigrad. That's Temple Isle. Oh, I know where we're at. Right, this guy's annoying me. That actually does quite a lot of damage, I need to be careful. Okay. I do not like you. This guy that got wrecked by us on the escape, that was pretty badass. Right, here we go. Time for you to die. That he was to fight. Oh, letter from an Afiri merchant. Oh, is that with something we can actually read? Verna, Verna, Perna, whatever be they call you. No idea have I why the most gracious crown mage Ahmad designated all people you as to our liaison. The argument that you best know in this land, being Nordling yourself, do not, I find, in the least bit convincing, because Edern's as much to do with Redania as Zeracania has with Afia, namely, nothing. But as the wishes of his graciousness are not to be disputed, beseech you I try to deliver to him this message. Our camp we have staked near Brunwick, a village. In keeping with the orders given to us by the court and his graciousness, knowledge and the goods of our land we now share with the local populaces. Sadly, as to their mental capacities, my predictions rightly judged, so I renew my request for permission to travel towards greater urban settlement, where our knowledge and experience will be better appreciated. Sincerely, Dula K. Amani. Okay. So obviously the Ophiri chaps we ran into a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, I hated this guy, but he was also quite useful at the beginning, because he killed most of these guys for me. Oh, these Ophiri swords. He's going to be worth quite a bit of money, and they've all got greater ruin stones, all these sabers. Wow. A fiery tunic. Shall we have a look at what this looks like? Okay, right, we've got our gear here at least. Fiery tunic. Along with an a fiery saber. What do we think? Not quite. Geralt of Rivia worthy, I would say. Not yet. I much prefer that one there. I think it's just a different colour, but I think that looks pretty, pretty rad. Pretty badass, right. Uh, okay, we've well, already got our pants and our boots on. Okay, back to normal. Good. Okay, so... Obviously, that was Gaunter or Dim that rescued us from that voyage with the Ophiri. We ran into him at the very beginning of the base game in White Orchard. Vaguely remember that first encounter. 
he was obviously the one to free us from that. Don't know who or what he is. We may find out more when we meet him next, because we're due to meet him at midnight at the crossroad beneath the willows. Now, I'm not sure where that is. Quite a distance away, according to my mini mayor. If we just have a little look right now. Okay, we've got a couple of things to investigate over here. And then there, meet Master Mirath and Yantra. Obviously, we've already cleared out all this north, so there's not much to do on the way back, and that's where the other Afiri chaps are. I hope they weren't friends with uh, this mage, otherwise I'll have a bit of a dispute with them, considering one of them took 30k of my crowns. Now then, head over to these spits of land afterwards as well, but I just want to check out the shipwreck, see if we can't find anything. I would not have seen that then. There is something in here. Now how do I get in? It's lootable. It's definitely lootable. Can I climb up here? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. There we go. Just needed the right angle. Christ, it's hard to stay on. Right, nothing there. Actually, from past experiences of shipwrecks, just one set. Saving it. I remember when it was. I was fighting a lot of pirates on the coast that got trapped in one of these and I couldn't get out. Pretty much does it. Oh, that's how you get in. Via the rocks. But that was not our marker. That's the lighthouse over there, and Novigrad's dock. Yeah, I knew as soon as I saw that, I knew we were somewhere at least near. It's not a brand new area. We're just north east, or north west, sorry, of Novigrad. Another lighthouse up here. Beast of some sort. Oh, drown, drown dead, drown dead, okay. Wow. Oh, Christ, there's a water hat there, I didn't even see it. Oh, there was hat. Stock. Alcohol, interesting. You sell one greater village of Rinstone. I thought he'd. Ah, uh, oh well. Farewell. Showing a drink sign, so I was hoping he'd be selling me some decent alcohol, but apparently not. No worries. So I've leveled up from that quest as well. Very peaceful waters, aren't we? Just gonna rest up for an hour. Okay, let's have a look. So, what we get in? 
still got one more for tissue transmutation. Which unlocks the final tier. Awesome. See, so I'm deliberating getting rid of my Quen Shield, alternate Quen Cast sign, because as, as useful as it is, I can gain health efficiently now through most ways, although I can just drink during a fight or eat. Uh, I've got plenty of Swallow, White Raffords, and decoctions like Echidna, which I can pop, and that more than enough suffices. It's very rarely, it's more for convenience than anything else, I would say. So I think I'll replace that with one of these final alchemy talents which I'm yet to acquire. Uh, so a little nosy up here, see if I find anything in the woods. Oh yeah, sorry, I was said I was gonna check out those two little islands here that I saw on to crash landed near. But again, back to Gaunter Odin, Master Mirror. He was obviously the one to summon that storm but I doubt he's just a simple mage not like the Ophiri chap that we fought against I don't know if there's anything on here hopefully so I've not been up here before okay, okay, okay. can't see anything here One looks a little more promising. Ourselves a boat over there, though, mind you. I wonder if it's half bet to go and check that little island over there. Well, I couldn't have I couldn't have shipwrecked on a better day, could I? Beautiful day in Valen. Which is a rare thing to say. We still got to go and meet Gaunter or Dim at midnight, so we've got a few things to do before then. Interesting, I thought we might have heard, found a body or at least something around here. I'm sure there is something around here. Ah, uh, no, nothing, I've just been checked around the islands once more and I couldn't see anything. I'm going to go and hop on this boat though and head over to that little island because it's just a bit too purposely stuck out for me. I'm really hoping there is something over there. But before we get on it, it looks like we've got some more drowned dead to contend ourselves with. <laughs> It works for giving you a little bit of health here and there, but hidden treasure. Dirty letter. For WJ's eyes only, arrived at designated location, took care of the knights, sunk their boat, but their leaders causing trouble. Locked him in the cellar till he wises up. We'll starve the fucker into submission. Heading back to Novigrad as soon as we get the goods. Tom to teeth. That was pleasant. There you go. Is he alive in here? Do you think? 
Oh, see, she literally. Oh no. Looks like he's dead. Rusted key, letter written in blood. Brethren, I write to you now in my own blood, so you may know what fate befell me. Following M's orders, I travelled to Novigrad to resupply and sell our latest batch of fist tech. I left the men in my command on our boat along with the goods and the coin while I went to the hut on the beach to await WJ's men. When they arrived, it was well after dark, and one of them bore a linen sack on his back. This sack did not contain the promised Novigrad crowns. Instead, it held the heads of my men. The scoundrels demanded to know where the Fistech was, but I only told them about the case in the ship, which they will never open without the key. My choice to slip this into my arse shortly before they caught me proved otherwise, for they searched everywhere else. Though they interrogated me harshly, I withheld the truth. Instead, I insisted one of the men they murdered on the ship was carrying the key, and my role was merely to negotiate. They wanted to kill me at once, but their captain had another idea at the last minute. They locked me in this precursed cage to wither and die, slowly from hunger and thirst. The second day of my captivity, I heard the screams of my captors. I know not whether I saw true or visions, but it seemed drowners had emerged from the water and were devouring the horsens alive. Yet the problem remains that the horsens, not the drowners, have so securely locked me in, I see no means of escape. I have sat here six days now. I stopped feeling hunger after the third. My guts have turned in on themselves. Now I dream only of drink. I'd give all the gold in the world for a sip of water. It could be rank and full of lava, and still I would guzzle it greedily. I drank my own urine for the first few days, but I no longer produce any. I have nothing left, not even hope. The last thing keeping me sane is the task of writing this letter to you. Farewell, and so on. Oh, that is a horrific way to die. So the sword, famine, and perfidy. Oh, nice amount of orange there, though. Okay, now then, hopefully, where is this leading? So that's. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's heading towards that little island. <laughs> it's a good thing I came here first and saw these drowned dead. Otherwise, I'd have headed straight over there and not had the key. Now. Okay, yeah, we've got that trap. Let's grab this boat and head over to here. If there's anything at this dock first, probably not looking at it. No. Take a drink of water. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've been on a boat. Long, long time. Taking you to the high seas, getting lost and shipwrecked in Skellige. Yeah, I can't say I miss those times, I do say. Well worth the money tracking down all of the spoils of war and the smugglers' caches in Skellige, but I tell you, it takes a hell of a long time. Hell of a long time. You see the ship all the way over there? I'm really intrigued to see if we can actually, like, go and check that out. Because it was the same in Skellige, wasn't it? They were home to, like, monster nests that you couldn't actually destroy. Okay, so it looks like the shipwreck is on the other side of this little island. Crystallized descent. Yeah, it should just be down here. Drown dead. Hey, 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 get away. Fucking hell. This is gonna do so much damage to me. Just concentrate on one for now, I'll do. My god. I don't think I've ever been hit more in the short space of time underwater. Missed. Gerald. I wish I couldn't lure them onto land, that would have been so much easier. There we go. 
Great ruin stone, not a huge deal in there, but something. So our next destination, since we have cleared out all of the, the Fallen Knights, Order of the Flaming Rose camps that were scattered around the north, and the other monster nests camps that were all there, they're all done, uh, we're just going to head straight to meet Master Mirror. As soon as we land here, I say meet in midnight at the crossroads beneath the willows. That is my next destination. Very careful not to crash. Christ, that's deep. It's not only just fucking hopped off the side. See, this is the shit that you just get trapped in. Deceptively deep water. Okay then, Roach. We've got a long way to travel. Let's get to it. I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay Debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? He didn't help me, the storm did. No, it's obvious that he was the one that summoned the storm. I was counting a more conventional help. He summoned that storm, you image. You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives. Like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. Hmm. What did Olgierd do to get on your shit list? How do you know he wronged me? Do not have a thing against Olgierd? You know, what what has he done to wrong me? I mean, he gave me the contract. How do you know we'd met, and that I'm not exactly thrilled with him now? Please, Geralt. I knew the Ophiri had captured you. Was I not to know how this had come to pass? Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. 
After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake, I have many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, true adventure. An experience like no other. The fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. All gear had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy, seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment, even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. Okay. Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Allgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. I'd rather not get involved, but I have a feeling we have no choice. No what? This business? It's between you two. Rather not get involved. Before you decide, please, hear me out. You shall see Allgeard as a vile man. Or, as they say in the West, a real son of a whore. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Hmm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Orgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. Hmm. Right, yeah. I don't like this at all. Tell that one. <sighs> all seems a little shady. Your help, your pact with Olgeard, his three... requests? Think it over. I agree you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Allgeard. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince.
Fine. I'll go see all geared with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs>